I'd like to welcome John Delaney, our guest of honour, to open up our complex today. Thank you, John. He, um, he was hopeless, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely hopeless. Um, <laughs> listen, I'm delighted to be here. By the way, I love that crest. That crest is absolutely fantastic. It's the merging of two clubs under one goal to play football. And I think we've got 2,600 clubs around the country. I've visited about 1,700. And the great thing about association football is easy to form clubs, but sometimes then we get too many of them, which makes it more difficult to accommodate them. So for the two clubs to come together a couple of years back was a wonderful achievement. And you can see the benefits of it today. I think, what, 450 players? Nearly 30 teams, both boys and girls. I'm a father of twins, myself a boy and a girl. And it's very important to me that my daughter has the same opportunity to play sport as my son. Really, really important. And irrespective of your ability, your disability, your colour, your creed or your sex, you have the right to play. There's enough problems in life at the moment with obesity, alcohol abuse, drug usage, getting kids away from playstations onto playing fields. So I really do commend the club what they do. It's not about elite players, it's about everybody's right to play. And what you do in this community is absolutely fantastic. And I'm from the country. My mum always said you should bring a gift. You should always bring a gift, okay? So in recognition to the... <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> well, I'll tell you two things. The first gift is I'm going to give a club 100 tickets for any Ireland game of your choice to bring the kids to the match. And because you've been very good, you can come down and meet the players after the match. You've said to somebody... <laughs> Look at that, Rory. Now, if there's any more heckling when I'm speaking, there's no more prizes. <laughs> Is that fair? But I often tell the story for the parents here today. I'm away a lot, and I do do a lot of functions. I've got three or four this weekend. I love going to them. But one night, I was driving up from Waterford to Monaghan, and it was four or five in the afternoon, and my young lad rings me on the phone. He said, Daddy, we're playing a game tomorrow. Will you come and, will you come and bring me to it? And I said, absolutely not a problem. No problem. Now, four or five o'clock in the afternoon, on a Friday, going up to Monaghan, it's easy to say that. When you get home at four in the night, not as easy. So quarter past eight, I'm lying in bed, the apparition arrives, not the missus, uh, the young lad, in the tracksuit. And he said, Daddy, last night you promised you'd bring me to the game. In my own mind, I'm saying, would you not ask your mother, I'd like to lie in. But thankfully, I got out of bed that morning, and it's the day he scored his very first goal. He scored his very first goal. And when he scored it, he ran to me with a beautiful smile. I can photograph quite a bit. There's no camera there that day, but trust me, I can still see him coming to me and he wrapped his arms around my neck. And it taught me a very simple lesson, and it was this. Had I not been there that morning, I would never have seen his first goal. I wouldn't have seen it. So it's great for the kids to play. It's great for the parents to watch the children play. But it's more encouraging for the children when the parents are there when they play. So don't use the club as a drop-off centre. I'd encourage all the parents to come and be there for the kids when they're playing. It's a marvellous time. I told that story in Wexford a couple of years ago, and Ray helped. You know, Ray played for Ireland. He was up next, and he said, My father followed me around for 20 years, see my first goal, and he's still waiting to see it. <laughs> Which I thought was very hard. To Davy and the lads, they're doing terrific work. I know John Byrne is involved with the club. John, obviously, a very famous League of Ireland player, and it's great that he's involved. And they're working on a five year strategy, and that's really important because sometimes you set off in life, you don't know where you're going. But when you set off a five year strategy, I think that's hugely important. And as I said earlier, that's not just about grassroots, about, uh, about um, elite players, it's about everyone's right to play. And I think that's something I commend the lads for. Well done, David. I think that's a great initiative that you're going to take in place. To Fingal County Council and, and Leo, none of this can happen without the Department of Sport. We've got a great relationship with the Department of Sport. I'm not just saying because Leo's here. We work together on many, many things, on grassroots initiatives, we're going to the Euros, the Aviva Stadium. I could name all the things that we've worked together on, bidding for European tournaments and that. The Department of Sport are a wonderful uh, grouping for us to work with. Leo's been always accommodating to meet us. Fingal County Council, we do a lot of initiatives with development officers, again, grassroots projects. So I'm a firm believer that if you roll both uh, together, you get there quicker. If you roll on your own, it takes a long time. If you roll against each other, you don't get there at all. So here is possible because you've got a great club with great volunteers, with great coaches, a terrific local authority and a local minister. What more would you want? So well done to you, Dad. Guru Miller, for all the work you're doing. Uh, the, the last thing I want to say too, um, I know you do a lot of work with Ajax, and that's important. I mean, sometimes people think the FAI don't encourage that, but we certainly do, because the exchange of the ideas in football is hugely important. And Ajax run one of the best academies in the world. And I certainly commend the club for, for looking at that and bringing them in. 
and as we work with, uh, we brought in a new high performance director, Ruth Doctor, we'll be doing that as well. So don't have any fear of sharing knowledge with other clubs, particularly IX, and learning from them. I really think that's fantastic. It's a really great initiative, and the club could be commended on that. So I'll close. I think the, the, the senior C team are in the Regency Cup semi final. Yeah, no, Regency Cup semi final on. Sunday. Sunday. Well, Sunday, yeah. we'll make the final commitment. If you win the cup, we'll bring you to the Viva with the kids, as my guest as well. So there's a bit of there's a there's, there's, there's one for you. Oh, it's the NFL team as well. Jason, <laughs> we've some chance of filling the Viva if you win your cup. <laughs> and to the father, where's that priest? Where's he gone? <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm going to bring you to the dressing room before we play Sweden. You can bless Trapatoni and the players. So in close, and one of the reasons I'm here, by the way, apart from Davey, because I'm sure you all know Davey by now. I just say yes now. Because he'll ask you a hundred times and you, say, and you say yes. But Bobby Ward is a very special friend of mine. Bobby does a lot of work for the FAI. He's our head of security. He drives me around a bit. Bobby's a terrific guy. And Bobby's managing the other 17 teams. They're going on, we want to go on and win the league as well. So thanks, Bobby, for bringing me here today. You're very good. So, thanks for inviting me. May the club go on for strength to strength. Gorham in Thank you. Thank you. Just on that, John, we just want to give you, as you were giving us a gift, we'd like to pretend, or, um, present you with a lovely gift just from one of the kids, just to say thanks a million for coming today and your support and everything to date. All right, give them a big round of applause.